Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. We have inspiring and unique guests on the show today, so let's get started. Coming up in April, KPIX is sponsoring an amazing event, the Road to Recovery SF, which supports and advocates for those recovering from addiction. The organization behind this event, the Center for Open Recovery, is shattering the way we look at addiction and the stigma surrounding it so people can get the help they so desperately need. And here to tell us all about about this incredible cause is Executive Director Faye Zenoff. Faye, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. You know, let's talk about the stigma. Why is it so imperative to end the stigma when it comes to addiction? Right. Well, there's a, a belief now that with this opioid overdose epidemic, okay. that part of the reason that only one in 10 people are getting help who are, who are addicted um, is stigma. It's discrimination. And there is a likening of the opioid overdose epidemic to the AIDS epidemic. They're saying that this is our generation's epidemic. And what was preventing care then was stigma. Those people brought it onto themselves. And that's what happens with people who have substance use uh, issues that were blamed for our addiction. And so there are over a half a million people in the Bay Area who are in recovery, but no one knows who they are because we keep silent so as not to have backlash and discrimination. So if we can come so people out... people prevent themselves from getting help because they don't want to... Well, we don't want to come forward and ask for help if, if I'm going to be judged and sure. told I'm stupid or weak-willed or you can't handle your liquor or whatever it is. To acknowledge that this is a disease is one thing, but another thing to be told that there's something the matter with me because I have it. So those of us who have gotten into recovery and can come forward and show other people what recovery looks like, we can inspire and create new understanding of outcomes. Right now, when we talk about recovery from addiction, people think of junkies on the street. They don't think about what recovery is. And recovery is people like me and you who are living vibrant, healthy lives. Sure. So we want to change the understanding that recovery is possible. So if we can end stigma, change public understanding, we'll also have policy change. And so more people get help. And let's talk about uh, addiction. In San Francisco and the Bay Area, is it as prevalent here as it is in other parts of the country? Absolutely. And in fact, San Francisco has three times the number of emergency room visits for alcohol-related incidences than any other part of the country. Mm -hmm. um, there's just as much heroin and opioid overdose deaths here, um, and, and other parts of California are as high as in the East Coast right now. So it's absolutely prevalent. And the majority of the people are not on the streets. They're in homes. They're employed. Yeah. Uh, how many people in the Bay Area are recovering, are in the recovery process? Right. So if we look at the national statistics and we take it to the uh, population of the Bay Area, it would be about 700,000 people are in recovery from addiction, which is actually more number of people in recovery than there are people who are actively in addiction wow. or struggling with their addiction. Wow. But people don't know that that's the case because everybody's invisible and voiceless. Well, we do have a documentary out now. There is a documentary called Facing Addiction Across America, and we have some video from that. This is exactly what San Francisco's Center for Open Recovery's main mission is, to end that stigma and promote an openness around recovery. Dennis Brown, former San Francisco 49er. Alcoholism is... Um, one of those diseases that, that wants to isolate you. Uh, it, it wants to get you in a dark room. Uh, it, it wants to kill you. It was ugly, you know, but it was all in the frame of what I did, and that was uh, professional football. It was part of it before games. It was part of it after games. And it took me a, a long time to realize that it was negative. I thought it was just part of the lifestyle that I was in, and it was, it was hard to to, I think, to come out and, and, and let people know because I was, maybe I was a little bit of afraid, totally embarrassed. The stigma is, you know, we walk out this building is what we see. You know, we see homeless people, we see people in the train stations, and we see them high, we see them, you know, dirty. But I think if, if a lot of those people are given the opportunity to change their lives, I truly believe that they might do it. 
Yeah, it could be any one of us. It could That's be any right. of our family members. Let's talk about uh, Road to Recovery SF, Thank you. this event. Well, this last year was the first time we had this event. There's no other event like this in California that we know of, or even on the West Coast. There are, you know, bike rides for AIDS, and there are walks for breast cancer. There's nothing for recovery from addiction. So this is a community celebration, a gathering to show those in addiction that there is recovery and support, and to show those in recovery that there's a community that they can be part of. So April 3rd, 9 to 12 at Chrissy Field. There's yoga, there's speakers. Mackenzie Phillips is going to be there speaking about her new book and her life in recovery. We have people from Facing Addiction there. There's meditation, there's art projects, kids zones, and we're raising money for recovery programs. So we hope that everybody will come out. Um, our URL is roadtorecoverysf.org. And I'm sure you get a lot of feedback, especially in the Bay Area, as you said. There's so many people living in recovery and with, with the addiction. So a lot of people come together to help. Well, up until now, people don't come together and help. That's why we're doing this. This is a call to action. What we can affect is the stigma, and that's what we need San Francisco to respond to. This is where change happens. Sure. This is the time for change. Okay, April 30th? April 30th. April 30th. To find out more about the center, just log on to openrecoverysf.org. To find out how you can be a part of the Road to Recovery event, just log on to roadtorecoverysf.org. And coming up after the break, we have another organization that is helping make a brighter future for young adults. We'll be right back.